All right, welcome back. Let's see what we can get done here. Three foot by six inches. So six inches is going to be probably right there. Measure that again. Yeah, right there. Probably about there. Oh, oh. Not quite. There. Righty. Maybe to the front a little bit here. Maybe like that. I think. And then I'll just trim off the front if I need to, that's all. That'll be good. Okay. Let's get the ground hooked up here. Vice grips. I'll just stick it right on here. This will work for me. Right here. It's out of the way. Fresh bottle. It's good. Is that set? Oh, way too much. Turn that off. That's about right there, I would think.
don't know why. Well, that's it. That's it, that's all. This log should not slide on that now. Oh, let's push this back out of the way here. Right there. Quit tripping me. It's being real trippy. Okay. That pretty much finishes it up. Aside from maybe recovering the seat at some point in time, don't think I'll put a windshield on this. May, may not. They just get broken pretty easy in the bush though where we go. Might bolt a winch on there eventually and put the battery back in there that I built a battery box for that. But other than that, the sleighs are all fixed up. They're good probably for another five or six years. <laughs> yeah, I put that mesh on there so the logs don't slide. Now if I ever have to get into that nut and washer, well, it's no big deal. I'll just cut a little circular hole in that mesh to get to it, or I will reach the MIG welder down in there and I'll just weld that nut right to it. But before, when I put the logs on there, they slide a little bit. Well, that should hold it now. And now that we have our numbers on there, that should be real easy so we don't mix them up in the bush. It's just a matter of matching up 
the number one with the number one, the number two with the two. Can you see that? Yeah, the number two with the two. Then you come back here. And you got the three with the three. And you get the pattern, I'm sure. That something I wanted to do for a while on this thing. And like I was saying in the other video, if you watched it, I like to put the pins in this way, face them back. I've had them turned around and brush can cast them and pop those pins out. This way it tends not to do it. And I always put the pins on the outside like this. Someone's gonna say, well, put them on the inside. Yeah, but then we get a load of logs on there. If we wanna pull those pins, we can't because the logs sit against those clips. So I always put the clips on the outside. That turned out better. It still looks like it's leaning in a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was before. I'm sure that's the one I fixed. Yeah, it is the one I fixed, but I don't know why. It still looks like it's leaning. Nowhere near what it was though. And I used a square on it, but obviously when you weld it, it pulls in, but it's, it's, not as, it's not as bad as it used to be. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So the ski's all fixed. I did that in the last video. The ski is fixed. This mesh is all welded on now and we're golden. I might try to find some snow flaps and put on the back of that Alpine. Anyway, this uh, battery's about to die in this. So thanks for sticking around folks. I would love a big old thumbs up if you don't mind. And maybe next time you see us, we'll be in working this on our other channel. I may do a quick video on this channel as well too to show you how this setup works for pulling our logs. We usually pull about 10 foot logs on this. And on a good trail, we round them right up higher than these racks. And those racks are just around, they're just over three feet high. Around three feet or just over. So that's how we round those. And they're three feet wide. So three foot by three foot, the bed on this, wide by high by 10 feet long. So do the math on how many logs we get on there. So if they're, uh, they're a foot, we can fit three of them. Three and then by, so three, six, nine. So we can fit nine, easily nine logs on there. Nine, three foot, nine, nine, one foot, 10 foot long logs. Although it doesn't work out that way, but you know, that's what we try to do. Anyways, you folks take care and we'll talk to you another time. Bye bye all.